Okay, back. Let's go. The damned climb. These walls are literally made out of the damned. It's kind of creeps me out every time I climb on them. I suppose we're not technically in the first level of hell yet. But we're like in the... Like the waiting room to hell. That's a, that's a good way. Alright. Missable achievement is to, uh... Talk to, Don, talk to Virgil as many times as literally possible. It's also good to do because he'll sometimes give you, uh, relics. Pronounced Acheron and Karen. Woo! First G Man, Relic Hunter, find a relic. We have found Death's Blade. I will be your guide through this eternal place. Where you shall hear the shrieks and see the tormented spirits who all bewail the second death. <sighs> and like that, he's gone poof. Here. Woo! Picked up the first silver. <sighs> which this is a Judas coin, which apparently, when Judas sold Jesus, he was paid 30 silver. There's a little tidbit of information. I don't know why that happens, but it does. Guess where we have to go? Yay! Okay. And for the longest time, I couldn't remember what I was supposed to do here. But it's basically, don't worry about the minions. Kind of skip over them and just jump. And fall like I did here. Something needs to be abandoned. Get rid of it. Yeah, every time you die, you get a nice little, um... Oh, sweet, I'm already over. Uh, word from, uh... The, the, the... From the original Dante's Inferno. These dead people are depressing. Yay, new enemy! I forget what they're called. <laughs> the goat heads! They provide a much bigger holy or unholy thing if you absolve or punish them. However, they can counter you, which sucks. Oh, right. I didn't even, uh... I only got two slots. Uh, displayed. Increase the damage of all sight attack and abilities. Uh, require... Oh, come on! That's one thing I don't like about, like, certain relics. You can't equip them unless you have a holiness or unholiness level of whatever. And I don't even have an... I don't have a level in any of them. I can't equip it. It sucks because it can help me right now. Sweet. Your biggest increase for um, 
unholy or holy will be from uh, absolving or punishing shades, which are pretty much the uh, famous dead people who have gone to hell. Uh, let's see if I can think of one off the top of my head. Uh... Oh, God, I can't remember any. Um, shit. Uh, no, I can't remember. Break a ball. Move past the door. Come up here. Whoa. Uh, jump. Uh. Another piece of silver. I would be the only asshole that if I, uh, or not the only, I guess some would think of it, but, um, I'd be one of the, one of the people who if I made a guide just for finding the silver, I would be playing, uh, Metallica's song Judas Kiss, just because I think it would be so perfect. Hey, Virgil, let's go, ooh, boxes! Sup, Virgil? In case you don't know, Karen, most times, is the, uh, in most mythology, religion, or whatever, is the ferryman who ferries souls over to the next world. Like, with, uh, Greek mythology, he is the ferryman, you know, put a silver in the dead man's mouth so that they may pass through the river of Styx. That's who Karen is. In here, he's a giant-ass boat. But which people are these? So basically, these few souls right here are the ones that they sinned, so heaven shall not take them, but they did not sin badly enough that they proceeded to the lower levels of hell so that those who reside in there cannot say, hey, I was worse than you, so that they may get some kind of simple joy from it. Oh, I see our first shade! Right after a battle. I'm just going to start uh, freaking punishing you guys. Just because you guys are irritating me. Oh, damn, I killed him. Oh, well. Mana. Souls. There's a shade. They'll always be hunched, o hunched over like this and saying something that reflects to their past. Who is this? Uh, Pontus Punt. His cowardice contributed to the suffering of the one for the sins of many, and now he bears the weight of all in limbo. I think, if I remember what my friend told me, um, 
he is the one who pinned, who uh, dis was with the people who pinned Jesus to the cross. And so though he did not sin, he did not, he did uh, forsake the love of Jesus and so he is condemned to limbo. But I am a nice man, so I'm going to absolve you. We get this nice little mini game where, uh, depending on how many sins you capture, it depends on how much uh, experience you get as well. I think later you get an ability to uh, pass through this mini game and get just a fair amount. Eh. Eight hundred and seventy. And I gained like six hundred for that, so I already just leveled up the holy. So now I have access to the next tire of holy. Holy barrage. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, I'm gonna cut this part right before we go to Karen. <laughs> 